Good morning, everybody. Casper the ghost over there has discovered a video game. She has, what is it? What? I don't know. See something. Don't understand it. I don't know if I'm going to keep playing it or not. What was that war when you was playing? This one. Z War or War Z or something. Isn't that hilarious? She's killing people. I told y'all she was a little bit sadistic, didn't I? Just with your teeth. She's wanting to log into my battle game that I play. I might just let her. I told her if she can get me some upgrades on weapons, I'll let her. They use my battle guy when I'm not there, and they take him to Africa and fight in campaigns, and they pay me. So, I'm, a, I'm like a super pimp, right? You are, because when you're asleep and I'm up here driving, you're making money. I'm a pimp with a limp. <laughs> From the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> clutch sprung my foot the other day. I was pushing the clutch and something happened to my Achilles tendon and I couldn't walk after that. Somebody thought it was really funny. She said, oh, honey, did you fall down? And I said, no. I, I thought he was like was outside and it's snow and ice everywhere. I thought maybe he stepped in a hole or on a rock or slipped on the ice. I was going to sympathize with him. I pushed on the clutch. Maybe that's some kind of old man stuff. Time to retire. Time to die. No. All right. We're heading to Mississippi. The home of the mud pie. It's cold as hell down there, too. But we're going to do it. It's cold everywhere. There's a little store down there just south of the border where we're going that makes the wonderful pork cracklings on demand. But it's pretty cool. Pork cracklings are about this big, and you throw them in fat. Poof, they blow up. Hopefully, we can get up in there and have them make us some. Um... We got to go. See y'all later. Well, it's that nasty time of year again, guys. Don't you just hate to see a truck all nastied up? I mean, I appreciate the fact that it works hard for us. But damn it, it's time to wash this old girl. But I know it's just gonna get dirty again. It's gonna be a waste of $65, right? But it's not wasting. She needs it. She's like, Daddy, wash me. Oh my God, I'm so dirty. If the truck had a butt, she would probably say, my butt smells bad, Daddy. Do something for me. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get some gold juice here. Hopefully the roads will be clear going down to Memphis. And then we'll get a little worse job. Scrub a dub dub. The old girl put the old girl in the tub. Let's do it. I just assumed I'd play the part of keeping you in the right direction. Confidence may fall I 
I'll be here as your foundation. And I say, hey, I'll just let it go. Your struggles won't remain. And I say, hey, yo, we're holding hope and wake up yesterday. So hold on to me. Look at here, fella. We're at the truck them up. And we can't get in. I guess we're gonna go around front. Try pushing. See, she didn't believe me. Can't get in. Oh my. Hang on. Let's look a little. Check this out, fellas. This is a. Uh, one of those truck stops that Snorlord was talking about. He done disappeared into a hole over there. Tow truck's here to get him out. Ain't that terrible? I mean, it's not the driver's fault. I'm not blaming him or picking on him at all. But damn, I parked over there one night just a few weeks ago. It could have happened to me. All right, for you guys that's never been out, uh, got out and seen the scary truck stops, in the northeast and the south and the deep south and the southeast in California, you will find scary truck stops like these that, thank God they're here, but boy, they can be nasty. People don't even have a clue, I mean, a, a use for them things anymore. There's nobody out there to use them more. Look, they have a, a recreation area over there. You can watch TV. But they have the all-important coffee. Nothing they have bugs too. All. Not even cloud cover, but actual temperature in Union City, 8 degrees in Blyville, 16 in Memphis, 10 in West Memphis, 16 in Clarksdale, and in Quill. Hello, little friend. Winch How you doing? A little bit worse. Where you going? 14 in Bolivar, you grow up and be big and strong. All right. Y'all seen them little critters in there? Them are not any mascots I want to bring back to our truck. Not at all. So, uh, we just gonna leave them in there. I didn't even get the coffee. I wanted coffee. Not today. All right, everybody. If you uh, knew any of that footage, you probably know where we're at. We're now in South Haven, Mississippi. Just south of Memphis, Tennessee. Home of the king. What, what did the king say? I don't remember. I don't remember what he said. But I know he said it like that. So you might even know where we're going. That's right. We are going to Associated Grocers, guys. All ye who who enter here, abandon all hope. Good morning, everybody. We are headed over to somewhere and somewhere to pick up something going to somewhere. That's all I know. You're good, baby. Was it Olive Branch, Mississippi? No, it's Bihala. We're going to Bihala. B-I-H-A-L-A. Bihala. All right. We declined to go to Olive Branch, Mississippi. Oh. I actually, that's where the pork cracklings was at that I really wanted to get. Damn. The weather's bad everywhere, so I'm just doing short hops to get me around. To get me to my next watering hole. Or my next dinner hole. Speaking of which, what's for breakfast? Or lunch, whatever you want to call it. I bought a raw sweet potato and an apple. About Mexican. I try to be healthy. She won't follow suit. And I'm weak. She says Mexican. I'm like, okay. I don't eat raw sweet potatoes. 
This man tries to force raw sweet potatoes on me non-stop. Like it's the only food in the world there's raw sweet potatoes. Broccoli's good raw. I, we don't have none. I'd eat some raw broccoli. Let's go get some. Let's go then. All right. All right, we're going to get some broccoli. Catch you later. Trainer tip of the day. Train the trainer. <sighs> I heard Big Rich saying the other day that his trainer didn't lay him back up at the truck stop. This is why. You should never teach your students to back up at the truck stop. They hold up progress and they hit trucks. They don't know what they're doing. If he's going to do it at a truck stop, he should do it on the back row. He is so close to this Peterbilt over here that, I mean, look at this. And the guy is in a pinch point, okay? He could get himself killed right there. And he doesn't want to talk to me because I said, hey, brother, that's not a good idea. And he knows what he's doing. He's been driving for three years. And that's sad because that's how guys get killed. All right. Take your take take your driver to a big lot, carry yourself some cones and teach and let them teach their self with them cones with you giving them pointers along the way. But the truck stop is a bad place to do it. Safety first. That's a busy one. Yeah, this is a busy one. Alright guys, we're going to another food warehouse to pick up another trailer. It'll be a drop and a hook. This one here has to be clean. So I have procured the girl's broom. She don't fly around on it very much more anyway. I don't know why. I don't even know if she still got her broom active, her broom license active. She probably needs to catch up on that stuff. But let's clean out this damn trailer, all right? I don't have a fancy broom.
Yeah, you see Swift wasn't supposed to park there, but he did. Okay. Come on back, girl. You gotta come back here and slide these axles before I back in. What the hell is she doing? Okay. There you go. All right.